just been playing loose and letting the game come to me, really. Uh, you know, not not playing tight, you know, just letting the game come to me. Uh, we've been in every Sunbelt game, you know. We had a chance to win every one of them. So uh, we have a lot of confidence going in and, uh, you know, hanging with, uh, you know, probably obviously the best Sunbelt team out there in three overtime. So uh, we have a lot of confidence that we can beat anybody left on our schedule. Senior cornerback LaMarcus Former stopped App State from putting the ball away early when he intercepted the ball at the 23-yard line and rushed down the field to get the game-tying score before overtime. I think we finally got to the point to where um, the level of play that we're at, you know, we like it there. And uh, I think now we just need to be focused on being consistent and try to bring that same intensity this week that we brought the last two weeks. I thought we did a good job holding App below their season average. They're really good rushing football. And, and they ran the ball on us more than we would like, but we did a better job than, than most teams have against them. Although the Trojans played without his best defensive player, Tyler Roberts, the Troy defense managed to pick up nine tackles for loss in Saturday's game, and that shows Coach Brown how much his team has grown. We're beat up a little bit right now, and, and we were beat up on Saturday. Had a lot of guys step up and fill in and, and made plays. I think, I think we're showing signs of maturity. You know, Obviously, the first series of the game didn't go the way we wanted it to. Three plays, and we throw a pick. Really wasn't a bad play by Brandon as much as it was a great play by their defensive end. Uh, so we get down the whole 7 nothing, been able to fight back and, and, and take the game into overtime and, and, and have an absolutely have a chance to win.